Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every day, so if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, girl, it takes two seconds to hit that subscribe button, okay? So grab a snack and a drink, and let's talk because we gotta celebrate because our queen, Miss Selena Gomez, just won her her first, or look, sorry, her first ever Billboard Award um, with, of course, Rema, and they won the uh, category of Afrobeat Song category. Um, I am so freaking excited. I'm gonna show you guys the video of her accepting the award. But before I do, I, I feel like it's so cool that she is, you know, when you start as a Disney star, you don't really get that much respect, if you know what I mean in the music industry, right? And I feel like after so many years, Selena's really starting to, you know, get that respect. You know, for me, um, you know, Rare and, you know, Revival, those are huge albums that I think also brought in a lot of respect. But, you know, winning her first, or I believe that was her second VMA, and this is her first Billboard Award. I think it's fabulous. And, and you know, it's, it's such a, it's such a, beautiful thing to see somebody who has given so much to her fans to society to you know the mental health um or i don't know if you call it organization but the, actually the mental health epidemic i would i would call it and you know just somebody who has given so much of her personal life to us to finally get recognition is wonderful so here's her accepting her award and then we can turn up a count down is a celebration of unity and the global domination of Afrobeats. I want to say a big shout out to Selena Gomez, Maven Records, Jones and World, as well as the amazing fans who supported us all the way to this point. I want to say a big thank you to Billboard. I'm very grateful. All the way from Nigeria, Rema, one love. Hi, Billboard. Thank you guys so, so much for this award. This is honestly Rema's doing. He chose me to be a part of such an incredible song. So I want to thank him and thank all of you for streaming and listening. And I wish we could be there. Um, but thank you. So you guys, honestly, I just, I love it. I love it so much. I'm so proud of her. I think that you know, she definitely, in my opinion, deserved it. Of course, Calm Down is one of the biggest songs in the world. And I love how, like, Rema, you know, he's talked in the past how Selena Gomez made the song, you know, the duet pop, you know, because Calm Down was a huge hit before Selena, but when she got on it, it was like a huger hit. And she is, you know, only thanking him. So I love that they made such a cute, you know, collab. Uh, and they you could tell their energies really mixed and this is just getting me very excited for what's next for Selena And you know every day there's different rumors about you know, what's gonna happen? Like, you know, is she gonna do this? Is she gonna do that? Is she gonna perform here? Is she gonna go on tour? I think I think there's gonna be huge things coming for Selena now I do have to say, you know Selena I, I checked her social media and analytics and things I, I do believe things are starting to shift a little bit you know there has been you know somewhat of a backlash for some time now but it does seem like it's you know it's getting it's getting a lot better um I feel like Selena Gomez in my opinion she is one of those artists that I just feel like if you meet her and if you you really like hang out with her you're gonna not get any disappointed. And the reason I wanted to talk to you guys about this is because, you know, when she won this award, I went on Twitter and I was, you know, looking at all the, uh, you know, comments, but then I also found some comments uh, talking about how she is, not she doesn't seem like she's a nice girl and that this is all like fake and stuff. And I could really tell you that I, I feel like I have, because I lived in LA so many years, like almost 10 years, I feel like I have a very good kind of like, you know, my like um, energy reader, if that makes sense of celebrities, because I've met celebrities in person that you're just like, oh, was not expecting that. Or, oh, I was not expecting that, honey. Um, I have story for days, honey. And Selena just gives me that kind of um, aura that she is amazing. For example, one of my really good friends, she's one of Selena's, uh, backup dancers. Um, they did the American Music Awards together. She's in the uh, Look At Her Now music video. And she told me, you know, that uh, of course, you know, 
when you go to these places, like you have to sign NDAs and this and that. And my, my friends worked with like many artists and you know, she even did the Super Bowl with Justin Timberlake. I know, um, I don't hold that against her, but it's one of the biggest moments of her life and as a dancer, of course. And I'm so proud of her. She's on Broadway now, like she's killing it. Um, but she told me that, you know, Selena is probably one of the most humble, most nicest people she's ever met. And she's one of my really, really, really like good friends. So there's no reason for her to lie. You know what I mean? And like she could, and she spilled tea before, honey, but she, you know, she could have easily told me, girl, she's a bitch. Girl, she's a, you know, there's some celebrities, you guys, there's even stories, some celebrities, they don't want you to look at them in the eyes. I, I I know somebody who, who told me about a certain celebrity that, you know, she told the people working there, please don't look my way. If you, it, well, she didn't say this, but her assistant and manager told everybody that if you, if you needed a word with her, it had to go through the manager, then it would have to go to the assistant, then it would have to go to her. No one look at her when she walks on set, everybody has to put their head down. Take a guess, see if you can guess who it is. Um, so, you know, these people, girl, their egos, they get so inflated. They, they go up in the heavens. They think that they're larger than life when in reality, girl, you are human just like me, boo. Okay. Um, but I was so nice to hear that Selena Gomez was, you know, was as nice as, you know, that we all picture her to be, you know, and, and that's one of the things that I love the most about, um, about Selena is that I, I, I know in my heart that she just is that she just seems so freaking nice and sweet and humble. And one of the things that my friend told me about Selena was that she really was very appreciative of the people around her, the people working for her, the, her, the background dancers, the, you know, the, the, everyone there, the choreographer, like makeup artists, like you always heard her say, thank you so much, or you guys did amazing, or, you know, she would ask everyone what their name is. And for those who don't know, here in Hollywood, girl, that is very, very rare, okay? Some celebrities, I promise you, like even if you're on set with them, they don't care who you are. They don't care where what your name is. They don't care if it's your birthday. They don't care nothing, girl, okay? They will, you, you don't exist. You are a prop, I swear. Hollywood is very dark, okay? So if you have any kind of, of, of you know, like bad feeling about Selena, I can promise you and I'll put my hand to the fire because I trust my friend. She, she wouldn't have to lie to me when she was, at doing those dances uh, and uh, those performances and video with Selena, I was not even reporting on Selena. So, you know, and she knew how much of a fan I was. So she, I, she was gonna tell me the truth, you know, she, there's no reason to lie. So I just think it's so wonderful that good things happen to good people. And, and I do believe Selena is definitely one of those good people. So I'm very, very happy for her. And I just think, you know, I think, the more she grows in music, I think the more she's going to be recognized and, and given that recognition that I do believe she deserves. And one thing I really do love about Selena is that she takes chances. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. You guys, uh, before I let you go, I just want to say thank you again so much for all the love and support the last couple of days. I really want to say thank you so much for just you guys being there, you guys supporting, just being so incredibly sweet. I, 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 I can't get over how nice you guys have been. So thank you so much. And I know that Sundays sometimes come with the Sunday blues. So if you are feeling like Sunday blues, some of my tips and tricks, you guys, super easy. Eat something you love, okay? If your tummy is happy, I guarantee you're gonna be happy too, okay, bitch? Eat something you love and, 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 and watch something you love. Doesn't matter if you watched it 5,000 times. There are certain movies that I watch so many times that I, I don't care. Like, I will continue to watch because they just, they kind of fill my happy tank, you know? For example, this is a very dumb movie for some, but for me, it's one of my favorites. Jack and Joe with Adam Sandler. Love that movie. It's so silly, but so funny at the same time. And um, I love Spy with Melissa McCarthy. I love Disney movies, Disney on top of Disney, on top of Disney, on top of Disney, on top of Disney, okay? So any Disney movie, girl, I'm in. So just kinda, I, I call it your, your happy tank. Fill your happy tank and just know that I love you and I'm sending you amazing hugs and, and good vibes and a lot of love. Mwah.